Hey guys, welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise, with myself Jason bringing you whiskey review number 49, where today we're going to review the Akshu Distillers Reserve. Now, you can see over there, some people pronounce it Hakushu, some people pronounce it Akshu, but the actual official way, according to a few Japanese friends I know, told me to pronounce it Akshu. Uh, so Akshu Distillers Reserve. Now this is one which I'll ping a bottle off just over there. If you haven't seen how it looks, very bright green. I actually saw that in Costco as well, which was 20, I think it was around about 26 pounds for the bottle. And I missed out on that. So anyway, we're going to actually pour myself a dram and get into the review itself. So the Akshu Twa, uh, Distillers Reserve is a non-age dated whiskey. Um, it's got a combination of different whiskey in it, so we can't exactly specify the age. But the ABV is bottled at 43% ABV, and the cast selection, they actually don't specify the cast. As with the 12, the bottles of these things, or the boxes, as you can see, pretty much all just nothing. So unless you find out online, and their website, not very helpful in terms of casks. Um, in terms of the actual distillery, is the Akshu Distillery, which is over here. You can see there. Beautiful place to actually go visit. It's in the middle of a forest. Uh, the parent company that owned them is Suntory. And the actual region is in Torihara, uh, Japan. So, in the middle of a forest. And the actual forest is... It's called a mountain forest distillery. And I'll actually show you some pictures over here throughout the video. Really beautiful place. And you'll see the two towers, which I've actually got, I think, here on the 12th. If it does focus there, you'll see. Just standing out above the forest, which I think is just incredible from them so let's get to the review itself in terms of the actual exclusivity of the bottle or the price I forgot the price uh, the price point of view you're looking at 55 pounds maximum for the actual bottle over there which is really really interesting very reasonable price like the Yamazaki um, distiller reserve um, in terms of also exclusivity no it's not exclusive but they have produced two batches which I did here was one was well, two types. One was the spring 2014 release, and the other one was a towards winter, which is a 2014 release. So, two different variants. But in terms of Akshu Distillers Reserves, they are both the exact same in flavor profile, so not very much difference. In terms of caramel coloring, no caramel coloring in the whiskey, which... Well, actually, I wouldn't say no caramel. It doesn't specify on the box. So, for that, I'm leaving as not sure, as an NA. So anyway, let's get next into the actual assessment of the whiskey and look at that color again, very light. So I'd probably say no caramel color, or if they did, very little. But on this one, I'm gonna say more towards a straw gold. It's very, very light in appearance. Almost too light. Really great stuff. So anyway, let's next move into the assessment of the whiskey. So the exciting bit into the nose. So into the nose, I'm picking out a very distinctive, fresh, for sort of green fruity notes. I'm getting starting off with sort of lime and it's more like lime juice, but combination of lime juice and lime zest. It's actually the whole lime literally there all present, but in different parts of it. Um, I'm also picking out sort of there's again, there's lots and lots of green fruits, very refreshing. A green apples, grapes, a little bit of cucumber as well. And it's like peppermint, sort of herbal notes as well present there. Also a bit of grassy notes of Reminds me of sort of like cooking of Thai uh, sort of like lemon grass and then very refreshing sort of like as has the forest notes of pine needles. Really, really grassy green whiskey, I'd say this one is. So anyway, let's next move into the palette for the whiskey. So into the palette. Hmm. So to begin the actual palette for this whiskey, a very medium sort of texture on the palette. Very refreshing actually, what I'd have to mention first. Really, again, there's green fruits. More, it starts off with a peppermint, sort of herbal, you know, lime juice, with a sort of bit of also even grapefruit zest, with a bit of the pith as well inside. It's giving a little bit of bitter, but at the same time, refreshing note. Green apples, definitely back all there together, but these are ripe green apples. A little bit of also pears, sort of conference pears, quite juicy and almost going to melt in your mouth sort of when you take a bite of them. And a very little bit of light smoke. It's actually lighter than the 12. And a sort of freshness of cucumbers that will play themselves back. So really, really nice flavor profile on the palate for this whiskey. So next move into the finish. And then we'll come to my final conclusion on the whiskey. So into the finish. So the finish for this whiskey is actually, so I'd say medium short finish. 
you do get the little bit of spices that play themselves there, but then the little wisp of smoke, ever so gentle, but letting you know it's there on the way out with those grassy notes. Those fruity notes sort of just faded very quickly, and then you get a little bit of the citrus sort of staying there alongside, partnering with the smoke. But it's ever so gentle and soft, and it just sort of goes ever so lightly. Really, really enjoyable. So I've got to give my conclusion to this whiskey in Hakushu Distillers Reserve. What rating will I give it? I'm going to go with this. I'm giving this quite a good rating as well. So, if you haven't seen my Akushu 12, uh, be sure to check it out. But I'm giving this one a 88 out of 100. Reason for that, behind that one, I'm going to say, to start off with, lots and lots of green fruit. This whiskey is literally all about green fruits. From the citrusy character, a little wisp of smoke, and such of very refreshing notes, from nose palate to finish. It's just so, so enjoyable. It doesn't have so much complexity, but at the same time, the fruity notes are just so enjoyable. It's like, if you compare this one to the Yamazaki distillers, Yamazaki is all about red fruits. This is all about green fruits. And it's just so much more refreshing, especially because it's been hot recently. Just all the light green fruits sort of go really, really well. Um, very, very unique as well, because I've not had many whiskeys that just solely you get green fruits all throughout the whiskey. In terms of the smoke, I found the smoke actually much more lighter than I expected, so that was a complete shocker because I heard akshu has got around about medium body of smoke, and it's actually more towards a light medium, maybe even a light. It's very soft and gentle, and the way it's sort of put together is fantastic. Now, in terms of value for money at being £55, I think it's an absolute steal. Um, I would give it a more higher rating, but I prefer the 12 ever so slightly. That's why you'll see the slight difference in rating. But again, I can see why people, in terms of using water, personally I wouldn't, but I can, I am going to try it when I buy the bottle, I'm going to try using it in a high baller, uh, and using it in different variants, because I, I've seen people use it in high ballers and all that sort of stuff, and I just want to know exactly what it tastes like. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Akshu Distillers Reserve. I think it's a fantastic whiskey. Personally, I just drink it neat, but... Would I buy it in terms of value for money? Yes, I would buy this any day. And I'm actually going to buy it as soon as possible because superb value for money. And if I can, fingers crossed, go to Costco, get it for around about £26, half the price of Central London prices, which would be great. So, let me end the video on that. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy the review. Be almost also sure to check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where you can stay up to date and... Um, you know, follow me on my social medias. If you have missed the other reviews, I'll leave a link to Yamazaki, um, Yamazaki 12, Akshu Distillers, and Yamaz uh, Akshu 12 over here. And be sure also to click my subscribe button over there to stay up to date with all my latest videos. But on that note, this has been Jason Whiskey Wise. If you have enjoyed the video, by just drop it a like, share it with all your friends. And I'm Jason Whiskey Wise, and I'll catch you all for the next video.